definitely a challenging preseason. Uh, you know, everybody, every team's in the same boat, so it's not just unique to us. Uh, I think coming in here, generally, we're used to you know playing 17 days before our first game, but you know, in reality, we've got two weeks to train, get multiple sessions a day. Um, before the, uh, the students come back and classes start. Well, this year we had eight days, and that presents a lot of challenges because we're trying to cram a lot of the same information into half the time. Now we're going to spend the next two weeks playing some non-conference opponents. We open up this weekend going to Philadelphia, playing uh, Chestnut Hill College and Holy Family, and that'll be a good test, and it'll be an opportunity for me to see what we're really made of. Going forward offensively, obviously, uh, with Mac back, he's a huge asset. He's great on the ball, he's very fast, and then him up top with Tubbs, who's been working hard and getting really fit. With Ian, I think it'll be a great front line. Then we have McShane on the wide wings. Um, we just have a lot of really good guys that can push going forward, and then defensively, you know, I'll be probably left back again with Danny and Eben, who are just solid guys in the middle, and then right back. Anyone could play that role, but Aiden, uh, O'Sullivan, a freshman, has really done well in that role in preseason so far, and he's a really strong and competitive player. I think the NE10 is a really tough conference. A lot of teams uh, have international players that we compete with and um, you know really good schools that usually it's like a, the top like four kind of stay consistent um, and it's just about breaking into that top four or even top eight and you know pushing through to get a playoff spot. With our seniors, especially nine of us, I feel like we have this different energy that maybe other groups didn't have. We can really push each other in ways that's not even imaginable, but also joke and be this friendly, but really be hard on guys team. And I think that will make us in games and late in games, like actually push to win games that we're down or if we're ahead, we can hold these games and, and win when we need to be, win. Uh, it's always interesting because different class sizes have different expectations. We have a small junior class but a very large senior class with nine guys and what that tells me that's nine guys that have been committed. They have a great chemistry uh, and that chemistry uh, that can win you games. I just think uh, I've had teams that are less talented that have won more games and a lot of times you know in these tight games in our league and we don't have a lot of games that are plus or minus two goals. I think just the chemistry in the heart and the makeup of the team can rally you to a, a couple games a year just on that pure will and heart that they have. Coach Gale, I've known he coached at King Phillip High School. He's a very good coach. I played against him and getting here in preseason, he's been a really, really good coach to have. Conrad, we loved a lot. He went on obviously to better things at Merrimack, which is awesome. But Gale's really got, he's got something special about him. He'll be, he'll be here for a while and he's going to help us push for the next few years to playoffs and, and more. Yeah, so our, our goal is this season, pretty clearly, we got to make playoffs the past three years I've been here. We've come just short and, uh, you know, I think every year we worked really hard and fell short every time. So this year we're looking to make playoffs and hopefully uh, play deep into November.